Hi guys, welcome to the video about Lip Advaita. At some time, like maybe, I don't know, six, nine, twelve months ago, we had an issue with PAMEC, PAMEC being all black, and somebody made a second package, which is called Lip Advaita without Advaita. I know, it is a super strange name, but at some point in time, Gnome says, um, let's, let's, define let's take give a tool to people to developers to have a uniform user interface and all that good not a bad idea but um yeah some of the tools that we had ended up being all white and as you know super shift enter we kind of like our black look right so um so this guy came up and say okay we, we have an, a patched version of it and um, I don't know what the reason was again, but we decided to go back to lip Advaita, and which is the default, I think, yeah, unbuildable. That's the, that's the reason I was trying to build it, and it's just not uh, possible. And then we started testing, right? They said, okay, we don't actually need this new package, and we could back go back and follow the official one, which is really, really, right? A lot of packages use it, so it depends. Lip at Vita is something maybe you should learn a little thing called depends and you see at that point in time what packages use that or need that right the dependency is more than use it's really necess necessary or dependent so a lot, a lot of things um, say in the package file I need that to be there otherwise I can't function so that's out one is out this is now the official one we have changed the etc environment it has a line right and if you don't like all this white stuff and there are other applications not just pamac this is pamac awar right there are other applications that might just well it's not that it's bad or anything it's just out of place a little bit because of the fact that everything is so dark are dark and not voila white so we got ourselves a line in the etc environment which is super easy to get an environment right and the n stands for nano or any other editor you like you just go change the editor you go in there and like this one delete this hashtag Control x that's it right that's it and everything that um, needs some kind of theme will get basically gtk so gtk3 gtk4 all those apps that rely on a gtk theme will get the dark version of it so change an environment if you want reboot test it out if the app is dark again following of course well there are 54 54 I think so. Arc themes, this is the default official arc theme. Um, so if we go for Super Sheet D, PAMAC AOR, PAMAC Manager, PAMAC Tray. Tray is interesting because it has a little icon up here that becomes red if it's something, uh, if there's an update. And as you see, that's all you need to do. And it's your choice to do it from now on in the release of uh, 2025 01. You'll see it happening. So an environment, Eric, type it correctly, right? And if you are wondering, are there more things like that? Yeah, just type alias, alias, and go to the N, scroll up, there are lots of aliases. So we can change the grub here, we can change uh, nano, the fish file, and F, nano configuration fish, fast fetch, also an interesting one, uh, NF, and FS tab. Etc. Right, lots all the guys with N are basically nano. If you wanna really check it out another way, it's in bash, it's in zsh, it is in fish. Right, all the official files for the shells. Go and have a look. And as you see here, we have the red thingy. Now there's one thing about this red thingy. I do like PAMAC. It's interesting to browse and look around, and look at repositories. For instance, if you have Celtic AOR open, and if you wanna look what's in there or the one from right all of them why do i say all of them when you well let's 
update then we get immediately the new Utspeed is correct as well typos are allowed in this case so there's a new Arch Linux tweak tool present so ATT is the Arch Linux tweak tool and we can add besides these repositories right <laughs> behind it behind besides these guys there is more right you just go to the shop and this is the shop the store we have the nemesis repo and devil repo reborn os repo garuda repo and kaltex repo these are four or five thousand packages extra we have our own thousand packages endeavor has their reborn os has their right? so shop around and you can actually look in here when you activate it you see an extra line you go in there and say oh there's a package i like i click download now as you see i'm not gonna update it's it's just a workflow i promote that you do an update in a terminal and have a look around or a poll if you have started to install install stuff from the aur right specific stuff that's not on our repo or other repos then you need to check out is there a new update for my aor package which is basically not arch as i say on the web page but it's a user created user responsibility all right that's it for me so in the future we'll use libid whiteam and in any environment you can set it and of course um, maybe let's end with that i did sell, tell you that there is more than just the official arc theme so these are all arc themes we've created for them no one else has them and you might be able to guess already in warm pink sky would be blue and orange violet pink paper there are some designs so basically the color that's the default arc blue which is nice it's gay it's good right but I also well me personally i changed to dawn and dawn is a darker blue so choose one of those uh, colors uh, there are 16 million colors out there i had to choose a few have a look cheers